Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 6th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update. As we've got some interesting events happening on our sun today, multiple M-class solar flares being detected from active incoming sunspot region, and as well, a large sunspot region outgoing. Just produced a pretty strong M-class solar flare, also watching plasma filament in the northern hemisphere lift away in the last few images. This is looking at SDO imagery, satellite photos. Check out all that action incoming on the left-hand side there. Multiple M-class solar flares, moderate. And then today, pretty sizable M-class solar flare from the bottom right-hand region, southeast which would be the southwest because it is opposite in the camera angle. Look at the size of that plasma shot. That thing, that plasma filament probably erected 15 Earths tall. Just to give you a size comparison with that large plasma filament eruption. Also noting there in the northern hemisphere, last few images, pretty large plasma filament lifting away. And it's visible here at multi-spectrum. There are no coronal holes, but we have about six sunspot regions right now that are Earth-facing. Two of them look like black holes on the sun. Stay tuned for tonight's update. Give you full details on all the space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Amazing images there. M-class solar flare. Current space weather conditions right now, we are under R1, a radio blackout impacts expected. After that strong M-class solar flare, you can see it here. Solar winds currently right now, 449 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing that pretty strong M-class solar flare, long duration and as well healthy M-class solar flares yesterday, about four moderate Solar proton flux slightly elevated and geomagnetic activity is elevated as expected from the most recent coronal mass ejections. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Big CME outgoing. But set to possibly give us a small disturbance in solar winds. Tent into the 11th. It's a pretty slow moving CME considering what we're looking at there. And that little green circle, just so everybody knows, is Earth. And as well, the other two are our stereo A and B satellites. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing CME taking off, outgoing, nothing in its path, but we do have some space weather coming in here. 10th into the 11th. Having a look now at the DRAP, which is the absorption map showing the highest frequency affected across the planet as this solar flare was affecting our magnetic field. You can see here, this is the absorption map. Having a look here on LASCO 2, showing the last 48 hours of imagery taking off cosmic energy and imagery taking off from our sun. As you can see in the last image there, full halo CME energy shooting all around the center disk. That is when we know that that is an Earth-facing flare event sending energies our way. Very sizable there. Visible Lasco 2 and 3. Blue one on the right-hand side kind of gives you a broader perspective That is an Earth-facing CME and solar flare. So stay tuned for tonight's update. Give you full details on what our sun is up to and as well our world for earthquakes. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you for the next update. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.